Hello everyone. The word of a woman who is trying to navigate and abuse Christian marriage is burdensome, as well as her spiritual beliefs about marriage. Good morning once again. The topic today is domestic violence. There is relentless need for caution. Women talk of watching over their shoulder, wondering if when his mood will change and trying to avoid conflict. Women struggle with pumping up a stick relationship, living sacrificially and giving up their own entitlement to peace and safety, living to protect children or choosing to stay for the sake of provision for children. There is the fear of shame and misunderstanding from relatives, workmates, and church friends if she leaves the relationship. But she's suffering. People who matter to the woman might be shocked and judgmental. Others don't see the whole story of a relationship and make assumptions that all is well. If she leaves, she fears being seen to be compromising her faith, her faith beliefs about marriage. Christian family or friends may observe strain and make assumptions that whatever is wrong can be easily fixed with prayer, forgiveness, and commitment. There can be a lot to cover up. But it's not so. The woman is suffering. Some women cannot talk. Some women does not have ability to say anything because they are looking at their children. They are looking on what their pastor has told them. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Huge effort is required to keep on hoping for change, accommodating one's own behavior to manage an abused husband. is a heavy burden concerning these issues. We have to focus on the scripture. And the scripture is not telling you that you will die in the marriage. Because the man has been using you as a boxing stand. Every time he's beating you, you don't have mouth again to say something. In the pain-filled places of domestic abuse. I want to offer empowering biblical perspectives to children. Christian women who have been abused and to encourage women who are in lifelong recovering from being in a controlling relationship. Of course, there are other issues women face in the contents of abuse, not the least being physical safety or dealing with perpetrators and legal systems. We can refer for these needs. Any woman who is going through domestic violence, please run away. Run away. No one is deserving of abuse from their partner. It's a must that you must run away. It's not that you don't love God. It's not that you're not worshiping God. It's you, you that is getting all the beatings you are the one that matters your life is important no matter whatever people may say let them talk because god has given everybody mouth to talk but your life is very important what is more god is no respecter of persons as Chapter 10, verse 34. He is just as offended by abuse within the people of God. Read the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah. God tells his people the reason for their judgment, oppression and violence. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1 to, verses 1 to 4. The Lord freed his people from slavery and gave them a, a good reason and a good place to stay in the Garden of Eden. A land to fill with the beautiful fruit of brotherly love. Instead, they turned the promised land into the new Egypt. It is you who have devoured the vineyard. The spoil of the poor is in your houses. What do you mean by crushing my people? 
God does not support evil. So as a child of God, you are praying, you are asking from God what you will do. Go out first. Separate first. It's better you are alive if you want to listen to what people are saying. That one concerns you. But if you don't want, it does not matter. You owe no one anything. Go and live your life. Don't die. Because it's not yet your time to go. Almighty God loves his children. And he can never fail. Hallelujah. So, try to be yourself as a child of God. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of sensual immorality, makes her commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. That's the word of the Bible from Matthew 5, 3. 31 to 32. Okay? But you have to know that you are a person. You are not a spirit. You have to do what is right. Your life is important. Even whatever your pastor is telling you, don't go, stay, everything will be fine. Please don't believe the pastor. That pastor is not you. You, 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 you are the important one here. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord teach us more. May the Lord guide us and show us the way. Please, run away. Your life is important. Thank you.